Hi, I'm Beth Rogers, author of Freshman 14, a young adult novel about friendships, relationships, parents, and all the good times and bad times that come with the beginning of freshman year of high school. I'm going to talk about the novel Goy Crazy by Melissa Shore. It's a great read. Um, the main character in this novel is Rachel Lowenstein, a Jewish girl, a uh, teenager, and she um, she is ready to date, and yet the boy that she is attracted to most is not Jewish, and that is where the term Goy comes from. A Goy is a non-Jew, and so that's why the book is called Goy Crazy. I love, first of all, I really love the pun um, because she's already boy crazy, but adding on the fact that she's Goy crazy kind of gives it a whole new added element of of kind of forbidden fruit, so something she can't have, so she really, really wants. Um, it presents a big problem for her because her grandmother. Uh, has made it very clear that she shouldn't go with the goyim, um, meaning that she shouldn't hang out with non-Jewish guys because she wants her to marry somebody Jewish. And even though she's still just a teenager, Rachel doesn't understand um, why she can't hang out with anybody because she's not ready to get married yet. And so what harm will it do? Um, the guy that she wants to go out with, his name is Luke, he goes to St. Joseph's Prep, um, so obviously very not Jewish, and um, she doesn't know what to do, so she is asking everybody, um, or she wants to ask everybody what they think, and everybody has their own opinions. Obviously her grandmother doesn't want her to go with somebody not Jewish, so she doesn't really want to talk to her grandmother about it, and her neighbor, Howard, um, he's kind of an annoying nuisance, um, but she um, finds out um, that he's not really, um, he doesn't really think it's a good idea either, but she doesn't really care what he thinks yet, and her best friend is not really around as much as she'd like her to be, um, because she's kind of trying to, um, move up the popular ladder of high school life, and Rachel is just trying to figure out her own life rather than be part of everybody else's on that social climbing ladder at the moment. So, um, so she doesn't have her best friend as round as much as she'd really like her to be. Um, so the book makes you ask yourself what you would do in a similar situation. Uh, it doesn't have to be this exact same situation, but if you've ever been presented with something that you really want, but you know that other people in your life wouldn't really approve of, what would you do about it? Or what have you done? Um, it's really interesting to think about and engages you in kind of an internal conversation about those kinds of topics. Um, the cultural aspects in the book are really cool. I like how she goes to synagogue a lot. Being Jewish myself, it was really nice to um, feel connected with the character in that way. Um, she goes to high holiday services, and they talk a lot about um, Jewish experiences and events. And it's, um, it's really interesting to include that. And you don't have to be Jewish to really appreciate it. Um, Melissa Shore's style of writing is very similar to my own, and I um, I think that's what engaged me the most, um, but I really find it a very easy to follow, quick, um, um, engaging way of writing that she's able to really make me interested to be on the edge of my seat and want to keep reading more and not put the book down. Um, she captures the epitome of what every girl who doesn't know what to do is confronted with at some point or another in life. Um, Always, there's always some boy that you um, that you shouldn't be able to date, or some girl if you're a guy who um, you don't really think is right for you, but you still want to go out with, um, or other situations in life that present themselves in this um, kind of similar way. Um, and if you've got a Jewish grandmother or mother like Rachel does in this book, um, you definitely know about the idea of guilt and how that can weigh on you, and it definitely weighs on Rachel at certain points. Um, so if you're interested in a really good and interesting, captivating, compelling type read, I highly recommend Goy Crazy. And if you're looking for more reviews of um, books and other types of writing um, and TV shows, check back often and we will have more available. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.